What up, what up, what up? It's your boy T Trucker coming back with another video. Today, we are back on the road, y'all. And I know y'all haven't heard from me in a while. So, I had to get this video out. So... Yesterday um, <clears throat> was very interesting, um, a very is interesting time in my own operator career dealing with um, fueling, trying to find trailers, and um, loads what i mean by that jb hunt i know y'all can't see me uh this truck that i have the lighting is not great in this truck which is right there it's pretty old like i said i have an older truck so uh y'all bear with me uh it's still late as y'all can see um i'm currently at Walmart because of JB Hunt. JB Hunt, get it together because um y'all tripping. But anyway, um I wanna come on here and give y'all a video um and let y'all know what I've been up to, what I've been doing. Um uh, still running my truck, still um trying to make ends meet in this bad pandemic and market just crash like crazy but i'm still maintaining i'm still still doing my thing man um but like i was saying yesterday um i had a load that was um uh, actually i still got the load but um it was it was go it's going to uh texas over there in dallas and um yes i know i know y'all like man why i'm running my truck all the way to dallas oh i get better lighting like that so but anyway um i know y'all probably want like why I'm, I'm running my truck all the way to dallas um If anybody know what I'm talking about, when you over here with JB Hunt, um, they don't have a whole lot of loads to choose from. See me, by me having an older truck, I feel more comfortable running in the southeast. But to be able to maintain money, to be able to pay my bills, to do the things that I like to do, uh, I have to get out of my comfort zone and running this load to Dallas is going to be different. I don't been to Dallas many a times, but I have never been to Dallas in my truck. That's 800 miles there and back. So cross my fingers, y'all. I hope this truck this is my first time ever running it that far. The first time I, when I left out, I went to uh, Virginia and Virgi and West Virginia. And the truck made it back pretty good. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have any issues. <clears throat> so hopefully I can get the same results on this trip. But anyway, like I was saying, I was getting off topic. Um, I started my day yesterday. You know, I left home early. If I would have known this crap was going to happen, I would have never left home. But I'm here. So I just basically wasted a whole day where I could have been home with my family. So the load that I have going to Dallas, Texas, is supposed to be picked up yesterday at 8 o'clock p.m. I got here early. I left home at 1 o'clock. 
I'm only like an hour and like 30 minutes from Atlanta. So I left home at uh, one o'clock. I got up here cause I had to come to uh, Atlanta cause I had to buy, I had to go to a savage yard to buy this little piece to get my, my signal light to work. Matter of fact, let me check and see if it's working still. Yes, it's still working y'all. Cause I wasn't going to go out of town with a mad, a bad messed up signal light. I'm trying not trying to give DOT a reason to pull me over. I wish I had better lighting in here, y'all. It's just it's just terrible. But anyway, um I left, went to the Savage Yard, and I told myself, I said, I'm gonna go do this and then I'm gonna go pick up a trailer, empty trailer. So I'm thinking that JB Hunt, you know, by going to the yard, I was thinking that <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. I was thinking that JB Hunt had empty the trailers on the yard, so it would be more convenient for me. Because I passed a place that I know for a fact that has empty trailers. But I had to get over here before the Savage Yard closed because I needed to get that light fixed. So I get over here, get the piece. Did I go to JB Hunt yard? I walked around the whole JB Hunt yard looking for an empty trailer. Didn't find one. Didn't find one at all. Um, was very a disappointment, you know. Um, and then right after I couldn't find one, they sent me a message and told me that they pushed my load out to the next day, which is fine, but it just killed my day because I could have been running. You know what I'm saying? And halfway there. You know. So, you know, it's trucking. You know, stuff happens like that. So, okay. So, I said, all right. And on top of that, I spent $633. Y'all hear me? $633 on the fuel. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? On fuel for this trip. So when they when they did that, they said, "Oh, do you want me to drop this load?" Or like, why would I want you to drop the load when I just spent six hundred and thirty three dollars on fuel that's going to come out of my check next week? No, I don't want you to drop it. I need an empty trailer. They said, "Okay, fine." They sent me a um a empty trailer search. Well, no, they didn't. They sent me a, a location to pick up an empty trailer which was over here, not too far from the yard. Um, I'm sorry, I'm looking at this Swift driver coming from behind Walmart. But anyway, uh, it was like five, five, no, it was like seven miles away to go pick up this trailer. I get here to pick up this trailer and this lady looking at me like I was crazy. Cause she thought I was just, cause, cause normally when you go to a warehouse, you go in, you give me your paperwork, or you're picking up a load. But J.B. Hunt told me I could just go there and just go grab the empty and take off with it. So she's looking at me crazy like, what, what is he doing? So I get out the truck. I see the trailer. The trailer was blocked by six, seven more other trailers. So there's no way I could have got the trailer. So I get out. I said, well, I'm going to have to get it. So I'm going to have to call somebody. They're going to have to get like a uh, a yard guy to come move these trailers so I can get the, get the trailer. I go to go look in the back of the trailer. It's fully loaded. It's fully loaded. Man, let me tell you, I was so mad because now I'm just burning my fuel. Y'all sit, y'all sit my clock back. Not my clock. I'm tripping y'all. I just woke up. Y'all sit my load back with whoever did. You know what I'm saying? And now I got to wait an extra day that I could have been running. You gotta wait an extra day. And then you send me on a wild goose chase to go find a trailer that's already loaded. So I'm like, man. So I told myself, I said, I'm not finna run any more today because I've been burning. I you know, I I put six hundred and thirty-three dollars, which I just found out that my truck to fill my truck up, it it don't even take but seven hundred dollars. And I think the fuel was like 
four dollars and 45 cents or something like that so it wasn't bad you know what i'm saying compared to a lot of drivers with an older truck they are spending like a thousand dollars a month i mean thousand dollars um to fill their truck up so i said i'm not running this running my truck again i called jb hunt and i told them hey i need another trailer because y'all say i gotta pick this load up at eight o'clock in the morning I want to already have a trailer. So he said, man, just get back with me. I'm going to send something to your computer. And you will have your trailer. So I said, well, look, I'm going to go park because I'm not going to keep running my truck. You know, riding around looking for trailers. I'm not going to do that. You know what I'm saying? I already got to run 800 miles to go deliver this load. So, that's why I'm over here at Walmart. You know, um, I've been here, ain't nobody kicked me out yet, so which is good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, what else I was talking about? Um, yeah, so I had a message on my um, little computer here, and they sent me a message with, to go pick up another trailer 17 miles away. The opposite way which i'm only um i think i'm only like five miles away six seven miles away from my pickup now i got to go an extra 17 miles away the opposite direction you know that's even though it's only 17 miles away that's fuel that's burning out of my truck Man, oh man. But it is what it is. Uh, JB Hunt, get it together, man. Get it together. Because this is, this is terrible. Y'all don't have any load, which I know is it's the market. The market is bad. You know what I'm saying? All majority of JB Hunt loads are Texas, uh, what's it? Ohio, Kansas, Arkansas. And what's another one? New Jersey, which I'm not going up there. I'm sorry, I'm not going nowhere near New Jersey. I just don't want to go that far up in north in the northeast. Too much traffic. I would rather do Texas before I do uh New Jersey. But anyway, um uh, I'm waiting right now for my clock to reset i got about seven eight minutes left and i gotta pick my load up um i gotta pick my load up at eight o'clock so um we're gonna wait until um uh, i'm sorry y'all i'm trying to get everything together we gonna wait until um, everything is together. I wish I had a light right here. I think this light right here work. But um, okay, there we go. It's a little better. I'll cut this big one off so y'all can just see. But anyway, um, I'm gonna wait until uh, the time is right. And we're going to hit the road. I'm going to have to cut that back on. Let's just, okay, that's better. But anyway, uh, for those that want to come over here with J.B. Hunt. Now, I'm not um, promoting anybody to come over here. Now, company driver, um, I want to say you might be good as a company driver. But if you try to come over here as a owner operator I don't think you're gonna win you're gonna be penny pinching you know what I'm saying and uh the way the fuel is and JB Hunt just don't have a good paying rate I'm gonna be honest with you y'all might laugh on this load maybe I'm I'm calculating it wrong or I'm uh, I'm I'm actually uh, just don't don't know exactly what I'm doing 
<clears throat> this is my first go around, so y'all get in the comments and let me know if this is crazy. But this load I'm picking up, right? It's going from McDonald, Georgia to uh land. What was that? Anyway, it's going from McDonald, Georgia to Land Castle, Texas. I think this was Land Chester. I can't remember. Something like that. It's like maybe a couple of, uh, about 30, 20 miles from Dallas south. Um, it's paying, it's only paying 1665 And that's before J.B. Hunt take their 35%. So when you do the math and you times it by the sixty-five percent of what you making, you only this load is only paying a thousand dollars and some change. Now for the fuel, they was paid they paid me five hundred and thirty-three dollars for the fuel, which one, which would ain't bad, you know. I only added an extra hundred dollars. Something like that, because I paid like six hundred and thirty-three dollars. Uh, something like that. I think it was like um, yeah, it's about about a hundred dollars. I'm gonna probably have to add a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? So I would say I I would say that I spent about maybe close to two hundred dollars. Cause I'm gonna have to add some more in here, and I will probably clear about nine hundred dollars with this load. So y'all do the math. This load is not worth going all the way to Dallas, but this is all they have. Now, uh, I'm not trying to speak on JB Hunt and talk bad on the company. I think the company is great. You know, uh, I know for a fact that the market is just terrible right now. And you just got to do what you got to do. But I I have been looking for something else. You know, um, something more comfortable for me. Um, more um, southeast type stuff. Um, well, I'm gonna tell you the company I have been looking at is called Great Wide. If anybody ever heard of Great Wide, get in the comments down below and let me know that y'all y'all have y'all have heard of Great Wide. Is it a good company, or should I just stay with JB Hunt? You know, I know for a fact if I go over to another company, it's still the same. But um, I get the opportunity to be in a comfortable area that I like running. But the only thing about this particular company, you got to be out for two weeks. And it's kind of like a company drive position, if you understand what I'm saying. I don't like that part because... My truck is paid for it. Don't nobody. Um, I don't. I don't owe a dime on my truck. So for you to tell me that I gotta stay out for two weeks, that's kind of. I don't know. So I'm just kind of. Uh. But anyway, y'all get in the comments down below and let me know if that's a good thing to do. Is just leave JB and go with this other company. Now the other company. It's paying 75%. You get 75% and the company get, what, 25, I believe? And you get 100% 100, 100 for your surcharge. And you get to keep your trailer. So it's going to be a lot of live un, un, live load and unload. So that's, the, that's another bad thing, you know. You get to a company, I mean, to a warehouse, and you got to live unload. It just, but you know what I'm saying. Um, you in the southeast, you comfortable. So it's got some pros and cons. You know what I'm saying. So it's just something I'm just trying to 
Not saying that I'm just it's set in stone right now. That's something I really want to do. But um, the way J.B. Hunt worked, man, um, you basically come over here, you're going to be out here running all over the place trying to find a trailer. Now, J.B. Hunt is a good company when it comes to dropping hook. Now, when you do get your empty trailer and you go and pick your load up and go, you know what I'm saying, you going to... They do a lot of dropping hook, 90%. So you just going to drop and keep going. Now, I can say that's good about J.B. Hunt and the company side. The company side is pretty decent. You know, you ain't, for one, you ain't really got to worry about no truck payment. You ain't got to worry about no fuel. You ain't got to worry about the truck breaking down. None of that stuff. So that's that's a positive. But for the owner-operator side, as far as what I've experienced so far, I want to give it out of one out of ten. I want to give it a five. That's just my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Maybe if the market got better, it would be a ten. I don't know a nine. But for right now, I just been, I just been winging it, man. Maybe I need to go further. I don't know. You know, I just, I really don't want to run this truck up into any type of snow or none of that type of stuff. It's an old truck, man. This is like a 2005. I'm not trying to run this truck that hard like that. You know what I'm saying? Especially, you know, I'm kind of jumping out on the limb with, you know, being out here and I put all my eggs in one bag. So all my money is in this truck. So you do the math. So I'm trying to play catch up. So it is what it is. But anyway, uh, my clock just came back and I do have all my hours. So um, I'm trying to see how would I be able to do this because my load don't pick up until eight o'clock. So it's just now what? Uh, Four o'clock in the morning, so I got four hours. So I might still wait until like five, by five o'clock, about another hour, and then um, head on out and go pick this trailer up, and then come back and pick my load up. So that way I won't be sitting, burning my clock waiting to get, uh, you know, to get, you know, my loaded trailer. But anyway, uh, I just want to get on here and give y'all a quick update. Uh, like I said, we do have uh, other um, videos that's coming out uh, with the GoPro. I just haven't posted them yet um, because I've been posting all my videos from my phone and it's been more convenient for me. And when you're dealing with the GoPro, you got to actually edit your videos on your laptop. So um, I'm still trying to get used to that different editing um, processor, uh, pro whatever it is, this uh, uh, software I'm trying to get used to. So y'all stay tuned for those videos. They might come out right after this video or maybe uh, later, later on this week. And I'm going to make another video right after this one um, with me running, well, taking this load to um, Texas. So y'all stay tuned for that video. I just don't want to make this video long. So I'm just kind of cutting it down the middle so y'all can get two videos instead of one. But anyway, um... That's all I really got to say, man. I really appreciate all the love and support from y'all. I thank y'all for watching my videos. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Subscribe. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my videos. And hit that bell. Because once I post a video, you're going to get it. So, I guess I'm going to get back in here and watch a little TV. And, uh...
Y'all stay tuned for the next video. We out. Peace.